Good morning, friends. It's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Monday, Monday. I said I was gonna come with a dance. Monday, 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 March 6, 2017. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. All right, so Donald Trump is basically accusing Obama of a Watergate type scandal. FBI Director Comey is rejecting that there were any wires or tabs or anything put in Trump Tower. Uh, part of I-95, I guess, was shut down this weekend because of wildfires, brush fires. Um, what else? Oh, the TSA is, let's get rid of that, the TSA is instituting some new pat-down procedure. Aren't we all thrilled about that? Uh, and my only little thing about the airlines is that I feel like they're very reactive instead of proactive. So they always start checking things after something happens instead of thinking of the new thing. Okay, that's my little soapbox. Uh, oh, and Brawny has released this hashtag strength has no gender campaign in honor of Women's History Month, and there is a female in plaid on the brawny packaging for a limited time, so that's kind of cool. So that catches you up from the weekend. Hey, if you guys can hear me, do you mind pushing a heart or a like or something just so that because I'm on the road, and I would love to know for those of you watching live that you can hear. Thank you. Okay, so this weekend, I'm going to tell you tomorrow about the two movies we saw. We saw two movies in the theater, which is kind of rare for us. Um, one was incredible, one was horrible. So, not to leave you hanging, but I will tell you about that tomorrow. Because today I wanna to tell you a little bit about our son's birthday party that we did yesterday. Uh, thanks to All Stars Limousines here in Nashville. This is so interesting because all he wanted for his 11th birthday was to drive around Nashville a little bit. And I had the hardest time getting any companies to even call me back. So the only other one that really responded was Grand Avenue, which I appreciated. They were very kind. They did not have um, a large enough capacity for our party. But Trey at All Stars Limousines, I got his name from um, my friend Jenny who works at the Gaylord Opryland. So good recommendation. Actually, two people ended up recommending him. Got back to me right away. And they specialize in kids' VIP birthday party packages. I mean, they do all the, you know, weddings and concerts downtown and all that sort of stuff. But they specifically do these kids' party packages. And it was incredible. They literally rolled out the red carpet. They had a sign with his name on it. They had napkins with his favorite colors. Uh, and we literally went around town taking pictures at the monuments. They played football outside of the Parthenon and at Bicentennial Park and Dragon Park. It was so much fun. So I'm going to tell you more about it later. I'm going to actually include it in a segment I'm doing on Talk of the Town later this month. You can always check out my Instagram feed at the Sammy Cohn. Uh, check out their Twitter feed at All Stars Limos. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really fun um, with a lot of 11-year-old boys. But yeah, great time. So more on that later. I'm going to work on getting a discount for you guys too that are here in Nashville. Got doctor's appointments today, dentist appointment today. Off to do that. I hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye friends.